Hi, I'm teacher Luke, a YouTube and real life English teacher. And today I'm answering your Duolingo English test questions. So let's get right to it. Is the Duolingo English test easier than the other tests? In terms of English proficiency evaluation, the Duolingo English test is not easier than the other exams, like the IELTS, TOEFL or PTE. The difficulty is the same. For instance, if you took an IELTS test and got a band 7, then it's very likely you'll get between 130 and 135 on the DET. All of these tests have been designed to be comparable and reliable. That said, the DET might seem easier because the interface is a lot more user-friendly than the other exams. And in my opinion, the other exams look a bit outdated in that regard. On top of that, you can take the DET at home and at any time you want, meaning you don't have to go to a test center and experience that kind of stressful situation. If I take the test more than one time, can I choose the best result or is the last one sent? Yes, absolutely, you can choose the best result. You can actually take the DET as many times as you would like and pick the top result to send off. On top of that, you can send your DET certificate directly to your university by using the DET portal, which makes it super easy and fast. And just an FYI, you can purchase up to three tests within a 30-day period. And if you would like to, you can buy a test bundle of two tests and that will help you save a little bit of money. In my first test, I got 110, but for my MBA, I have to get at least 115. So I need five more points. Do you have any tips? The first thing to say is well done. 110 is a good score and you're very close to hitting your target of 115. And thanks for sending in your scorecard as well. So let's take a closer look at that now to see how I can help you. So based on this, I can see that you need to work on your speaking responses. And how do I know that? Well, because your lowest subscores are in conversation and production, and the crossover skill that those two subscores assess is speaking. Therefore, you should focus your attention on the four open response speaking questions. They are speak about the photo, read then speak, listen then speak, and the speaking sample. I recommend you practice these four questions a lot every single day so you get used to the format and style of question. On top of that, you should be always improving your overall English and that will help you to improve your speaking score. I've made a lot of videos covering these speaking questions. I'll link a playlist below in the YouTube video description. Today, I got my results, but unfortunately it was invalid. So what should I do? That's a bummer. I'm really sorry to hear that. And it does happen from time to time if people don't follow the rules correctly. Because you didn't share the specific reason why your test was invalid, I'm just going to give some general advice. Before you take the DET, it's so important that you read and understand the rules. What makes the DET special is that you can do this test at home and at any time you like. You don't have to go to a test center. But that means that the responsibility is on you to follow the rules. All of the rules can be found on the DET website, as you can see right here. I'll put a link to this below in the video description for you. There are a lot of rules to follow, but they are pretty straightforward and easy to follow if you understand them. In my experience, these are the three most common rules that students break. Number one is wearing earphones. You're not allowed to wear any type of earphones or headphones when you take the test. If your computer or laptop speakers are not loud enough, you can use external ones. Number two is looking away from your screen. You need to keep your eyes on your screen for almost all of the test. This is one of the ways Duolingo know that you're taking the test independently and not cheating. Number three is having background applications open. Before you take the DET, you need to make sure you've closed all other background applications. This is for every type of application, but especially for applications like Grammarly that help you with your spelling. So read, understand, and follow the rules and your test will not get invalid. If I don't click the next button after finishing my answer, does it affect my result? Does it evaluate the already written or recorded response? 
On every question on the DET, you will see a next button in the bottom corner. By clicking on this next button, you submit your answer and move on to the next question. However, if the time limit runs out, you will automatically be taken to the next question without clicking next. If that happens, whatever you have written or recorded will be submitted for evaluation. So you don't have to click next to move on to the next question. You can just let the time run out if you want to. Can I do the test via mobile phone? No, you need to use your computer or laptop to take the DET. However, you can use your smartphone to take the official practice test on the DET website, which is a great way to prepare for this exam. But for the real and certified tests, you need to use a laptop or computer. Which universities accept the Duolingo English test? A lot of universities all over the world accept the DET, Currently, there are over 5,000 institutions that recognize it. To search through these institutions, you can go to the DET website and click on Institutions and use one of the three options provided to search. For example, if I want to study in Canada, I can use this menu on the right, type in Canada and see all the institutions that accept the DET. By running this search, I can see that there are over 400 universities in Canada that accept this exam, including 13 out of the top 15 universities. I'm averaging 140 to 150 on the DET practice test. What score can I expect on the real test? First of all, that's a solid practice test score, so well done. Now, the DET practice score is just an estimate. But of course, it is a very good estimate. So it's likely that your score will be within that range of 140 and 150. However, it's not guaranteed that you'll get that score on the real test. When you take the official exam, you might have a bad day and make some really simple mistakes, which would lower your score. Or on the other hand, you might do really well and completely crush it and get an even higher score. So just consider the practice test score as a helpful estimate. Does finishing the questions early improve my score? So I see why you're asking this. You might think that if you're able to finish these questions quicker, then it shows that your English is better. Thus, you should get a higher score. However, it doesn't work like that. All of the questions on the DET have a set time limit and finishing the questions faster does not mean you'll get a better score. Actually, I would say it's better to take your time and pace yourself because the questions on the DET come at you very quickly. So if you finish a question earlier, use those extra seconds to relax, have a breath and get ready for your next question. Is it better to put a mirror behind me? This is a funny one to end on, and I actually get this question all the time. And the answer is very simple. No, you do not need to put a mirror behind you. This is just a myth that has been spread on the internet. The myth is that if you put a mirror behind you, then Duolingo can see the room and thus you'll get a qualified and certified score. But that is false. It is just a myth. You do not need to put a mirror behind you. Now, if you are worried about getting an uncertified score, don't worry too much about it. Just read, understand and follow all of the rules and you'll be totally fine. You don't need to stress out about that or put a mirror behind you. And that wraps up all the questions for today. I hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions, leave them below in the comments and I'll make another question and answer video just like this at some point in the future. Now it's time for you to study for the Duolingo English test and this is the video you need to watch next. It's all about speak about the photo and it helps you to describe a photo really effectively. So I'll see you here right now.